All right, we're gonna do foam rolling for the neck. Do a little bit of sacrocranial therapy uh, with this. So we're gonna use a foam roller to rest at the back of the neck like I have here. I have the rumble roller, you can use any roller. And from here, I am going to pull back a little bit with my neck, so I'm gonna do a neck row. Pull back just slightly, just to create a little bit of uh, tension. I'm gonna keep a nice and relaxed jaw. If we create tension through the jaw, there's a lot of muscles that run through here that we don't wanna uh, create tension. We don't wanna facilitate tension. So jaw nice and relaxed, you can even leave it open. And then from here, while I'm pulling back, I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda verb or non-verbally say yes. So I'm just gonna go ahead open. You can choose whatever tempo. You can slow it down a bit. And then we're going to go ahead and shake our head no. But we're going to imagine that our head is on an axis. So if the spine continues through the top of the head here, we're on an axis that we can rotate on. So don't roll your head like you're rolling on a ball. We want to go ahead and just try to Rotate the head as if it were on an axis. Think rotisserie chickens. Nice and light, pulling back a little bit, not too much. The neck sensitive, so don't crank it back. Keeping the chin tucked. I'm not extending too much, except when I go into those yeses. So chin tucked, jaw relaxed. Just going to roll over that rotisserie chicken. And then to end, once you're done, always get a couple breaths in and just go ahead and let that neck relax. <sighs> Cylindrical breathing. Keep the chin tucked and the jaw relaxed. 